Good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining us at our Community Leaders Conference. And especially warm welcome to Mr. Kopokun, my colleague and Senior Minister of State for, at the Ministry of Health, but he's here today in his capacity at, at the Ministry of Manpower. Uh, I also want to extend uh, my gratitude to the people who spoke earlier this morning, Mr. Matthew, Matthew, Dr. Matthew Matthews and his colleagues uh, from the Institute of Policy Studies for contributing the, the study. Uh, as well as uh, co-organizing today's event. Um, the panelists, uh, our friends and colleagues at the Ministry of Community, uh, sorry, Culture, Community and Youth, as well as the Tripartite Alliance for Fair and Progressive Employment Pro Practices for supporting today's conference. Today, our discussions um, are about tackling a critical gap in race relations, workplace discrimination. And by engaging our community partners, religious leaders, stakeholders who have views and insights into these issues. We hope to gather ideas and views to build meaningful interventions, bridge gaps to strengthen our workplace harmony. At OPSG, OnePeople.SG, we look at ways to address difficult issues concerning race relations. We have embarked on a variety of initiatives targeting youths, educators, community stakeholders, and the broader community on the need to embrace diversity, challenge prejudices, build on our commonalities and our shared values. And we have largely seen a positive response to our work, to our approach. Not that everything is solved, but people understand the difficulties ahead, people understand the challenges at addressing the difficulties ahead. There is an increasingly open climate to talk about sensitive issues and a willingness to resolve them. Communities of all ethnicities, all backgrounds have come together res having respectful discussions and when they do so can walk away with a sense of greater empathy and greater understanding of each other's challenges and aspirations. And this conference in partnership with IPS is organized in the same spirit. We're not going to solve everything today. We, but we do need to broach difficult issues in a respectful way and take that step towards greater understanding with empathy and resolve. Our joint studies with IPS show positive developments, greater levels of trust between different racial groups, higher numbers of cross-cultural friendships, especially among the young, and minority Singaporeans largely feeling fairly treated by public services. But there are gaps in the workplace. You'll have heard from the presentation from Dr. Matthew Matthews. There's a level of perception among minorities around discrimination, when applying for jobs, when hoping to get a promotion. Some fear reporting the sense of discrimination, difficult to prove, and they're worried about a backlash. Our engagements, whether at the macro level in terms of such studies, as well as focus group discussions and the various inputs that we get from our stakeholders uh, reinforce and reflect the similar sentiments. Over the years, uh, issues to do with race relations have largely improved uh, in terms of perception, in terms of the social interactions, but also in terms of outcomes. For example, we've made progress in education. We have in parallel had significant increases in aspirations for education and work among the minority communities. And so minority Singaporeans are increasingly competing for work across all industries and businesses. And in parallel, there, have, there has been an increasing public awareness of racial sensitivities and discrimination. So we see more of the narratives that we talked about this morning, the negative perceptions being brought to light. But not that I say that to suggest that this is a perception issue. It is that we are increasingly aware of the reality that is there. This workplace discrimination affects lives, it affects livelihoods, and at OPSG we are concerned that this is something that we need to tackle, with, tackle together with our partners and stakeholders. Our foundations of meritocracy, multiculturalism, and appreciation for diversity that we have had over the last, now nearly six decades, has served us well to build our society and build the cohesion that we need. And we need to then think what is the next space, the next frontier, where we need to apply ourselves as one people 
and as onepeople.sg. We've had useful insights from the panel discussion earlier today, discussing issues of workplace culture, the role of management, the embracing of diversity and equality as key pillars. And we have to take this further, learning about microaggressions at the workplace, how we can develop capability and competence of people who organize and manage the workplace, how we can sensitize employees themselves to play an important role uh, in, in creating the right culture within the workplace. We look forward to the Tripartite Committee on Workplace Fairness and their report on legislation to tackle this issue. Um, OnePeople.sg's view on this, as in many other areas to do with ethnic diversity and ethnic discrimination or division, is that legislation is only one part of the solution. And we and our community of stakeholders have a role to play. And we would uh, like to seek guidance as well from SMS Co and colleagues about what role community organizations can play in taking this agenda forward as we strengthen our legislative agenda. We want to develop avenues for greater intercultural understanding at the workplace. OnePeople.sg wants to do this. We want to do so together with partners, employers, business councils, and employees. We feel that our approach in other areas to encourage safe spaces, to develop sensitivity, to train the capability of facilitators and volunteers to lead these conversations, these are skills and competencies and capabilities that we think can be transferred from our experience in the community into the workplace, and we would like to do our part to build more cohesive and conducive workplaces. As community leaders, you are part of this journey. You have been our stakeholders and our strong partners in many things that we have done in the past, dealing with racial discrimination in the community. And we hope that you can continue to support these efforts uh, together with all our partners, such as IPS and TAFEP and our governmental organizations. Share your ideas today, but please continue to stay in touch and share your ideas at the many other fora that we will continue to organize as well. I hope you've had an insightful exchange so far. And today we welcome uh, SMS Kopokun as our guest of honor uh, for his welcome address and also for a dialogue on these important issues. In his roles at the Ministry of Manpower and also um, assisting TAFEP, he's really front and center dealing with these issues of workplace discrimination. Uh, and I'm very glad that he's taken time off to come and join us today. And so thank you very much, Pokun. And it is now my pleasure to invite you to the stage to share with you, share with us your thoughts on this matter. SMS Kopokun, please.